Ah, uh, extinction. It's got the allure of all the other maps, but instead of dragons and drakes, you get giant freaking monsters. I mean, even the land creatures want to kill you most of the time. They've got corrupted variants of mostly every creature now. And these guys, you can't just beat them into submission like you can with the other creatures. They die fighting, man. And not to mention the fact that the sky rains fire. Oh, right, fine. It's actually pretty cool that the sky rains fire. I'm a big fan of disaster and calamity. And did you know you can get mechs on this map, which I find is pretty cool. I mean, a 40 ton walking metal war machine. Oh my God. Yes. Sign me up right now. But unfortunately, me running around operating a prepubescent wet dream is not how this story starts. It starts like so many before it with punching a tree. I'm having fun. After chasing a pig around for a while, I found a spot to build my tent base and was getting ready to make my first tame. But of course, an hour and a half in, I realized I wasn't recording. The video files had corrupted and stopped the recording, so I got none of this on camera. So a time skip later and I have the bare essentials. I have metal weapons and tools and a few tames. The Iguanodon, the Pterodon and a Fomia. Hehe, <laughs> poop. But there were two additional tames that I needed at the moment, the Dodicarus and the Stego. The Stego has a large surface area where it can swing to gather berries, because I'm going to need a lot of narco berries for making trank darts. And the Dodicarus is not only good at collecting stone, but it also can harvest the lampposts around the map, which gives me a large amount of element dust, which is going to come in handy later. I'm talking about the mech stuff. So what I said on a perilous journey to find my tames. Oh, holy shit, there's two of them there. Honestly, I thought it would take a while to find one, but uh, it turns out I found one pretty much straight away. But this is Ark, and it's not going to be that easy. Unfortunately, there was a Kano around, and it got to my team, and I, I k killed it. Yeah, I, I couldn't be bothered. I, I went to find something else. But again, this is Ark, and something got to it, and I ran away, because I am unequipped to fight. Eventually though, I managed to find one that was slightly too lower level, but it will have to do because I I'm too lazy to find something high level with just trank arrows. After knocking it out, I went to go find a suitable stego to tame while I was starving the Dodicarus. The stego wasn't too much of a problem. Again, it was a low level and I didn't mind taming a low level if it meant I could save resources. The stego is quite slow like the Dodicarus, so I could just sort of run away and then shoot and then run away and then it would catch up to me and then I'd run away and so on and so forth. It wasn't too complicated, all right? There was a certain point where the stego sort of stopped and started wagging its tail like a dog. It must like me. So I took full advantage of this and I peppered it with just a ton of trank darts, which was very handy and it went down pretty quickly without a fuss. So yeah, that was that was pretty easy. So finally the Dodicarus tamed up and I wanted to take him out for a test spin. So I took him back to the city and decided to try him out on a few poles to see how much resources it gives me. I was hoping for a bit more metal since metal was going to be a really in important thing for me and I'm not quite sure at the moment where to get it. I always assumed that you could get it probably from the lampposts but you can only get like 10 per lamppost, which is barely anything in the grand scheme of things. At this point, I thought it would be time for me to start looking for a location in which I would build my base because I didn't want to be a hobo forever. I decided to build my base in the city since the conditions of the ice and desert biome really didn't suit my fancy. And I didn't want to build in the waste biome since the meteors would strike down there and it would just ruin my day. So I kind of just wanted to leave that. There. I found a fairly good location. It was near a water source and it had good cover, so I wouldn't be infiltrated too much. The only downside is that it did actually have like a back doorway to what looks like the waste area. And I kind of didn't want anything wandering in. Mainly corrupted creatures since most of them can break metal as I believe. So I needed to come up with some defense options. But that comes later. So first I'll build my base. So this is what I got so far. Obviously it's not quite done yet, but as you can see, it's sort of on the way there. I thought it would be a little bit boring, me recording all of the process of building, so I just sort of come back middle and then end point to the construction process. Now, this base is gonna have three levels. The bottom, which is gonna be the storage level, the middle, which is gonna be sort of the practical workstation level, and then the top, which is gonna be the trophy room slash bedroom area. This is necessary since I'm gonna have to defeat the bosses multiple times on this map. So I thought I would, you know, give it a go with all the different trophies that you can get. Several days later. All right, so this is it. This is what I got so far. It's uh, 
it's not completely done yet. I still need to add a few things. Uh, mainly the uh, chem- I need water already? Jesus. Rehydrated. All right, I probably should do it from the outside. All right, let's have a look. So down here is probably, I'm leaving a little bit of space just to let something, I don't know, maybe an industrial forge, maybe a tech replicator. I'm not sure what's going in the middle here. I haven't decided quite yet. Uh, that's that's all. In this little part here, I'm probably going to put some vaults on each side and then maybe, I don't know, like a generator in the corner down there. Uh, up here is sort of the, uh, as I said, the, the sort of workstation. This here will be one day replaced by a actual chemistry bench instead of this but for now i'm poor and i need to get different teams but i want to do that in a different video so i can't do it now i haven't decided on what i'm going to do here but i'm eventually going to want to get a grinder and uh, an industrial cooker so that's probably what's going to go here up here i'm going to put some taxidermies just one in each of these little slots here and then obviously my bed's here and i might make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing I will fill this in with glass or something, just so I can look out on... I was going to say the sky, there's no sky. And that is how I get down, <laughs> because I'm too lazy to take the stairs. Uh, break your ankles, that's what I say. Alright, so that's it for the video. I'm kind of sorry that it's so short, but at the same time... You have no idea how long it took me to record and edit all of this. I'm not a seasoned professional, I am slow. I am like a snail, but not in that one movie where the snail is really fast. Anyway, in the future, I'm probably going to do more Let's Play-esque sort of thing instead of like the compilation things that I've been doing since it's just so much work and I kind of want to get videos out weekly instead of missing deadlines because I have a life as well. So yeah, next video I plan on uploading on Saturday. It might be a little bit later, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. Anyway, that is it. Thank you for watching, you nerds, and I will see you in the next video.